If you're studying for the INBDE, I highly recommend INBDE Bootcamp, an all-in-one study resource that will help you pass your exam. Use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. And in this video, I want to cover a commonly asked question, how fast should I be answering questions on my board exam. I teach all the time on my channel that the best way to prepare for an exam like the INBDE or the AFK or the ADAT is to practice what you are going to be doing on test day. You never want to go into an exam like that without going through the motions first, putting in the practice, not just doing practice questions, but simulating the exam environment and the time constraints that come along with it. Timing yourself as you go through practice questions is something not a whole lot of people do, but I do highly recommend that studying technique as you're getting closer and closer to your test day. But to figure out how much time you actually have per question, let's go take a closer look at the INBDE test day schedule. So here we have the full breakdown, and it's actually very similar to what the NBDE part two used to be in terms of time and total number of questions. You start with an optional tutorial, introducing how the exam software works, how to click between questions and things of that nature. And if you've worked with me one-on-one -on -one or you've used a study platform like Bootcamp, you're already pretty familiar with this. So I don't usually recommend taking the full 15 minutes here, but you certainly could. There are four sections on the first day, mostly standalone questions, but also some case questions. Again, if you've used my Patreon page or Bootcamp, you already know the difference between those types of questions. There are some optional breaks between each section. One is 30 minutes and the other two are 15. What I did personally was power through the first two sections without any breaks. I did take a short bathroom and snack break during that 30 minutes, but didn't use the full time. And then I powered through the last two sections without a break either. You can use whatever strategy you'd like, I'm just sharing what I did personally. The second day has only two sections and they are all item sets or groups of cases. Here's what I want to focus on for a little bit though. Look at the bottom here, 12 and a half hours of total exam time. And this actually goes down to 10 and a half if you remove all the breaks, tutorials, and the post-exam survey. Okay, so let's do the math here. We have 10 and a half hours of total exam time. That's 630 minutes. We have 500 total questions. So 630 divided by 500 gives us 1.26 minutes per question. That's almost a minute and a half per question, which is actually pretty good. Now, if we compare that to the ADAT, we have 230 minutes of total exam time, 200 total questions, and 230 divided by 200 gives us 1.15 minutes per question. For the AFK exam, we have 240 minutes of total exam time, also 200 questions, and 240 divided by 200 gives us 1.2 minutes per question. So for all of these board exams, we get over a minute per question, which for a multiple choice question is not too bad. That's actually quite a bit of time, especially if you factor in some of the easier questions that you're going to get that you should be able to breeze through within about 30 seconds or so. So all that to say, my simple answer to the question is you get 1.26 minutes per question, but my deeper answer to the question is you're much, much more likely to get tired before you run out of time. So then the follow-up question is, well, Dr. Ryan, how do I not get tired 
during my INBDE or ADAT or AFK exam. Again, practice your endurance before the test day arrives. Practice doing lots of questions or other mentally challenging tasks that require you to stay focused for long periods of time. This is a marathon, not a sprint, so train your brain appropriately. Get really good sleep leading up to the exam. This is not something you want to be cramming for last minute. Proper sleep is incredibly valuable. You want to stay hydrated, just like any good marathon. Drink lots of water, but also not too much so that you're not going to the bathroom every few minutes. You also want to fuel your body, have a good meal before going into the exam. And as you go along, carefully reread and revise your questions as you can to ensure that you're not making some silly mistakes, like missing the word except in a question stem. Those are just some of the tips that I have to share regarding staying mentally focused and finishing your exam on time while also doing your best. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. And also leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of this advice and were you surprised that you get 1.26 minutes per question? Was that more than you thought? Was it less than you thought? Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also below this video is the description where you'll find all of my social media links and channels and Patreon page, all of that good stuff. You can follow me there to make sure you're not missing any information regarding your board exams, how to apply to dental school, how to succeed once you get into dental school, all of that good stuff you can find there. Thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.